To develop an app using React Native, you need to install the latest version of Node.js. We use Expo Go to run React Native. When you create a React Native project using Expo, you can use Expo Go to preview and test your app in real time. Expo Go acts as a client app that communicates with the Expo development server running on your computer. It allows you to view your app as it would appear on a physical device, interact with it, and test various features. Now, let's create the project. To do this, follow the command provided on the React Native website. Create a directory called React Projects to store your projects. Open the terminal and navigate to the directory using the cd command. cd react projects. Copy the command to create the project. npx create expo app. Name the new project, my first project, and press enter. You will see that the project folder is created. The project is now ready, and you can explore the folders and files inside it. For code editing, we recommend using Visual Studio Code. Download and install it. Additionally, to run the app, you can install Android and iOS emulators, although it's optional. Running the app on a physical device is also possible. Open Visual Studio Code and open the project folder by going to File Open Folder and selecting your project folder. Now, the project is opened, and you can start editing the app.js file. To run the project, open the terminal in Visual Studio Code by going to View a Terminal. Enter the command npm start to start the server. Pressing the A key will run the app on the Android emulator, and pressing I will run it on the iPhone emulator. To run the project on your mobile device, Install the Expo Go app on your Android or iOS device. Open the app and scan the QR code displayed on the server. The project will open on your mobile device. You can edit the displayed text, and the changes will be reflected immediately.
If you choose to install emulators, download and install Android Studio for the Android emulator and Xcode from the App Store for the iOS emulator. You can also run the app on the emulators by pressing I for the iPhone emulator or A for the Android emulator. To close the server, use the key combination control plus C. Thank you for watching.